Today we're gonna take a look at a new add-on called Forestation from Reproduction, the developers of Vegetation, Transportation, Grass Blade, and Gardener add-ons. Forestation add-on for Blender is a large collection of high-quality 3D scan trees that is aimed at designers, CG artists, archivists, and environment artists in general. It makes it extremely easy to import and customize a tree, animate the leaves, change the seasons, add moss or snow to the trunk of trees, or create as much variations as you want with trees using the randomize function. This add-on comes with 35 high-quality 3D scan trees, leaves, and branches, however they are procedurally generated. The models and the textures are fully compatible with cycles and EV render engines. Not only that, the add-on offers two versions for each tree high quality one with maximum meshes and texture quality and a low poly version for less polygon heavy models for those forest backdrops or something like that. You can easily switch between low poly and high poly though with a press of a button. Overall, this is a great option to optimize your machine resources. The add-on also features micro displacement which allows for a high quality level of details in the trunk areas of trees. Unlike normal or bump map displacements, it allows you to generate real geometry, thus real shadows, for an extremely realistic result. Details such as bark pieces, holes on the trunk, or the surface properties all can be achieved in great 3D details. Additionally, all the trees in Forestation add-on have an exact real-world scale, so if the tree is 10 meters high in reality, it will be 10 meters in Blender. And this will guarantee that elements will have coherent sizes. The installation is very simple, just navigate to the zip file and press install like any other Blender add-on. However, if you want to enjoy the benefits of micro displacement, there is a couple of things that you will need to do. First of all, micro displacement only works in cycles, so switch to cycles render engine and you will need the feature adaptive subdivision and to achieve that, you need to choose experimental feature set. In the render properties panel, once you do that, you can see the option to adapt to subdivision in the subdivision modifier. Tick the checkbox and you are good to go. To adjust the quality of the subdivision even further, you can adjust cycles parameters under the subdivision tab, adjust the quality of micro displacement, and the smaller value you choose, the better the quality is gonna be. You can find the add-on in the end panel of your 3D viewport. The interface is very simple. You can pick a tree that you like by clicking the thumbnail at the top and choose one from the list. Pick whether you want high poly or low poly mesh and you can also specify if you want a tree to be created in the center of the world or where the 3D cursor is pointing. And finally, hit the add tree button. Once you do all that, you will get access to more options that can alter the tree shape and look. For example, since the branches are procedurally generated, you can iterate through multiple variations by clicking the randomize button. This will give you a different look for your tree every time you hit the randomize option, so the options are virtually endless. You have also snapped to ground to sit your tree on a plane floor. Furthermore, you can change the season of the tree by choosing one of the four options right below that. Furthermore, you can get access to the animation setting where you can add animations to the tree by simulating the wind and you can choose between multiple wind presets such as light, breeze, medium and strong wind. Or you can adjust the settings manually like scale, wind speed and strength. On the material side, all materials are PBA ready and all the texture maps such as diffuse, translucent, roughness, normal, bump, ambient occlusion or opacity are available in up to 8K resolution. The materials are also 100% compatible with both EV and cycles. The shaders are very customizable. It allows you to easily add moss and snow to your trees and each tree has three materials for the trunk, leaf and branch. To do that, you have to jump to the shader editor or you can get access to the forestation node group which will allow you to adjust the instance snow and moss intensity. In addition to moss orientation, quality, overall bump and normal map strength among other stuff. A really awesome feature is randomize season in the leaf shader where you can randomly change the season of the trees. This will allow you to generate a realistic forest with many instances of the same tree but avoid repetitions because rarely in real life do you see uniform colors across all trees. Instead of that, you see different variations. To achieve the best result in Eevee, try using a sunlight with the HDRI. And don't forget to activate ground contact in the light settings. If you are interested in this add-on, you will find the necessary links in the description. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.